That's not going in the camera. <laughs> that almost went in your cheese, though. Ew. Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes. I am the good old boy, and we are cooking dishes from Recipes That Crock.com. That's right, that is my wife's cooking blog. Do you guys remember the hot dog video we did not too long ago? Remember how I said uh, that uh, I needed to hear some comments and people were getting some feedback to me about some t-shirts? No. I am getting the dirtiest look right now from my wife. You're not She's getting like, a dirty look. You're t-shirts are a hassle and then everybody's going to call an order and if somebody gets the wrong size and we got to do this and we got to send that out. And I'm like, it's worth it because they're really cool t-shirts. I mean, how many people out there have a shirt that say on the front, how do you cry for pot? Nobody I know, except for me and a couple people. <laughs> but uh, actually, again, a lot of people you know, leave a comment down below if y'all think you would like one of these T-shirts, and maybe if we get enough people that say y'all yeah, want a T-shirt, maybe just maybe we can convince the boss to order some. But anyway, <laughs> let's get to the recipe. If you remember from the last video that we did about hot dogs, on this side we put in our brand spanking new hot dogs. Over here was the finished product, and then here in the middle was a little secret I wouldn't tell you. Well, guess what? I'm getting ready to reveal that secret. We are adapting our chili cheese dip recipe from the site. We'll give you the link to that down below in the video. Um, but we're going to make it to where you can have chili cheese dogs. So let's say you're having a big old party or you're having the Little Leaguers over, or whatever it is, and y'all have a bunch of hot dogs. In this case, uh, what, 40, or, well, 39, because I ate one. But yeah, there's 40 hot dogs. 20 here and 20 here. And in the center, we've got our dip for it, or actually our topping for the hot dogs, which is a chili cheese sauce. And it's real simple to make, and it goes a little something like this. You take a 32-ounce block of Velveeta, get it cubed up, Velveeta cheese, and toss her... <laughs> Right in, oh, you know what? It's she right. told me that I was supposed to put the sauces in first <laughs> and the chilies and stuff and then the cheese, but <laughs> sometimes I just march to the beat of my own drum. <laughs> so, anywho. It's okay. It just might. My bad. It might burn a little bit easier. It, it might burn a little. Oh, am I really messing this up? Then, no, huh? you're not. You just are going to have to stir it more. I'm going to have to stir it more. Listen to me. <laughs> Do as I say, not as I do. Put your sauces and stuff in first. These three cans, put them in first. Then put in your cheese. So let's pretend I hadn't put in my cheese yet. <laughs> you want one can of seasoned diced tomatoes with green chilies. We're using Rotel's version. We're using chili fixins. Yes, chili fixins. We used this in a previous recipe, the ranch hand soup. We used really it good. in a couple of different things. Yeah. And we'll put that in there. And then two cans of chili. <laughs> we are a hot mess. Stop talking with your hands. <laughs> you talk with your hands, you knock people out, you knock me over. <laughs> oh, I am plugged. What's this do? It doesn't do anything. That's why you charge it. <laughs> I'm fired. Are we good? Are we, are we good back there? I tell you, I won't get mad at you about knocking me around with the camera if you don't get mad at me about putting the cheese in first. Okay. Okay, Nikki, so uh, can I make a, <laughs> yes a comment about the chili? Mm -hmm. They can put chili with beans, chili without beans, chili. This has like a home style that has, I think, other vegetables in it too. They can use whatever chili they want. You can use whatever chili you want. You can. I really use... thought that cord did something. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, this is supposed to take like two minutes. <laughs> Okay, sorry. So if y'all are making this recipe, don't invite my wife over. It'll take you a lot longer to get this cooked. And don't have you put in the cheese. That's right, don't put in the cheese. But let's go back to the chili. You can use whatever kind of chili you like. It makes no difference to me. If you like chili with beans, put chili with beans. If you don't like chili with beans, don't put chili with beans in it. Put some kind of a chili in it that you're going to like. We're just using a home style. Uh, it's called Wolf Brand Chili. And it's home style with beans because we like beans so remember pretend we hadn't put our cheese in yet we just put in our chili fixings tomatoes with chilies and two cans of chili with or without beans 
chili, 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 chili. And then, once you're done putting in your chili, you put in your cheese, <laughs> like I'm doing right now, right? <laughs> and also, how much is this? Tablespoon. Honey? One tablespoon of chili powder. There you go, just like that. That's it. Voila. And then, especially since I've got the cheese on the top or on the bottom, I'm going to stir it up a little bit. A lot. I'll probably be stirring this quite a bit so I'm not I don't get in trouble. But you stir that up. Just like that. And get rid of that. Put your lid on and then honey, how long would you like me to cook this for? Low two to three hours. Stirring occasionally. I'm going to set it for two and a half and start. And somewhere between two and three hours and stirring this occasionally, all that Velveeta will melt down and mix in with your chilies and your uh, tomatoes with chili peppers. And when you get done, it's going to look a little something like that. Now this, I'm just going to go ahead and use a spoon that I used to mix that up with. This is what it looks like a couple hours later. Chili cheese. You're about to lose your spoon. You're going to lose your spoon. Oh. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> no. See how fast we can do this. Take my tongs, grab my <laughs> hot dog, and there we go. Hot dog with my chili cheese and we'll see just how good this goes on top oh yeah and then whatever you want else however you like to dress your hot dogs i haven't had this yet with the chili and cheese so i don't know if i'm gonna like it i usually like mine just with mustard if you like relish or ketchup do you put ketchup on your hot dogs my wife puts ketchup on her hot dogs not mustard and ketchup just ketchup on her no, hot dogs I use mustard and ketchup you like ketchup more than you like mustard no i eat it with my mustard. wife when she was a little girl she would put ketchup on everything except ice cream. Did you put uh, Did you put ketchup on ice cream? I did not put ketchup on ice cream. Okay. And you do not know how I eat my hot dogs. I do too. A little bit of mustard on this side. A little bit of ketchup on the other. Then why are you telling the good Some people, people that put I don't... mayonnaise on their hot dogs. I'm not gonna judge you. Just eat it. But ew. Okay, we're gonna eat this hot dog now. I think my wife just wants me to close my mouth or something. <laughs> it. So chili cheese hot dog take one. You like? I like a lot. Good. Mmm. It kind of tastes like um, my favorite chili dogs in the world. Really? From Dairy Queen. Really? Mm hmm I like their chili sauce. But here's the thing. I don't like cheese on my chili dogs from Dairy Queen. But I like that cheese with this chili. Your chili dogs are better than Dairy Queen. Wow. And that's saying a lot from a kid who likes chili dogs from Dairy Queen. There you go. So, there you have it. A little party right here. A little party thing going on here with Big Bertha. Hot dogs, more hot dogs, and in the middle, a whole lot of chili cheese. Trust me, there's enough chili cheese right there to cover 40 to 60 hot dogs. And... It's really good. It's a little spicy, just from the, the chili fixings, but not like super hot spicy. It just kind of tastes like chili. So, If you don't like spice at all, you could always use mild rotel. Yeah, just yeah. use a mild rotel. Don't go in the chili fixings. But this isn't spicy like hot spicy. Just There's a little heat on the back it's end. It's Addie it. approved. It is, yeah. And, and Addie will attest to the fact that she likes this chili stuff. So I do too. It's really good. Octavius My dog is on standby some. waiting on me to drop something on the floor. I think you dropped something. He, he smells He smells well 40 hot dogs. So, <laughs> Again, we want to thank you for watching the, this episode of Cook and Chris's Dishes. Uh, if you like what you see, uh, subscribe. There's going to be many, many more videos to follow. Give us a comment down below. Uh, tell me what you like to put on your hot dogs. Tell me what uh, the recipes y'all want to see. And uh, we'll get to it. And... You can also give us a like over on Facebook at Recipes That Croc, as well as Good Old Tunes with Good Old Boy, which is our family channel that has these recipes, as well as some cover tunes, originals, 
and all kinds of silly stuff from the family. And uh, again, we want to thank you guys for watching. We keep cooking, you keep watching, and all will be well. Bye. Mm.